You are listening to the IoT for All Media Network. What have been the biggest things that have kind of driven adoption now as IoT has kind of been progressing into more of an operational asset? What have you kind of seen on your end? Yeah, I think what's happened is that when we first started off, it was really just used as a way of um, gathering data, but that data actually wasn't right. used for very much. I think over the last, particularly over the last five years, as the ability to connect things has become cheaper, the ability to process things has become cheaper, but also more ability, your ability to process things in a more performant way using AI and the edge, um, that's actually made the data element much more important. So what we've seen, it's become a much more three-dimensional element. It's no longer simply about, can I get the, the data? Can I connect? Can I understand when something's broken? Mm. Into how can I use the data much more proactively in terms of predicting what could actually happen? And I think that's part of the maturing process as it moves from simply, can I connect something and you know that's a, a useful technical exercise to right. how can I use it to drive wastage out of my business? Mm. How can I use it to deliver what I do in better ways and then how can i use it to create new customer propositions and engage more with the customer and i think over the last year we've seen that sort of almost take a step change as we move into sort of more sustainable approaches to business where of course if you're taking out wastage you're becoming more sustainable you've got the ability to move to more sustainable ways of doing business and also the ability to influence customers to consume your services right. in a more sustainable way. Yeah, we're really starting to see real ROI out of these solutions. I think before we've, you know, we saw a lot of things getting to the pilot stage and really not being able to be justified moving past that. Um, but but as we are starting to see more applications being deployed in in different industries for different use cases. We're starting to collectively see just what the power of these technologies that we were talking about for so many years are when you actually apply them the correct way. Yes, and I think that question of ROI is really important because I, I, I hear that all the time. Um, sure, and sure. We, we do a number of surveys and ROI is never one of the barriers to IoT adoption. And I think what becomes important, and this takes us back to this conversation about IoT as an operational asset, is in order to realize the true benefit, doing the technology in isolation is not enough. You also need to start thinking about how you digitize your business around IoT. Sure. And I think those companies which have really embraced IoT as a way of doing business in a different way have actually released massive amounts of ROI for their for their business and i think for us it's no longer about the proof of concept we believe that the concept is well and truly proven and with 140 million devices worldwide right. i think right. you know, we're, we're already there yeah it's really getting customers to say if you really want to get the benefit you really have to change the way you do things so you know We've seen it in, in multiple different industries, but you know, you've got to really think about what your business is going to look like when it's based on IoT and when you've digitized around it as a core capability.